I think we need ginger cake. First of all, the sugar and eggs are going to get um, whizzed up together. This is muscovado sugar. That's just ordinary caster sugar. And that's three eggs. So just get this up. And it looks sort of creamy. Stick the oil in. I'm going to heat up half a can of Guinness. My um, husband stroke cameraman might like the other half of the Guinness. And half a tin of black treacle. But you could use golden syrup, you don't like the taste of treacle. And because it's got such a lot of sugar in it, you really need to stand here and keep it moving. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda in there, and that'll make it fizz even more. And I had about a two inch stick of ginger, but if you don't have fresh ginger, just put in more powdered ginger. I'll cook the ginger a bit, so that has to cool a little bit before we add it to the eggs and the sugar. The third lot of ingredients are the dry ingredients. Uh, plain flour, a bit of pepper. This is where the spice comes in. You want about six to, six to ten. And then that's the powdered ginger. Cinnamon, cloves, ground cloves that is, and mixed spice. It's plain flour, so I'm going to put one and a half teaspoons of baking powder in there. And then we're going to add the flour. Once you've got an absolutely smooth batter, we pour it into the tin. The oven is now at 180. And with any luck, in 35 minutes, we'll have brilliant, sticky ginger cake for tea. So you might think that was a little bit dark, but I tell you what, it's the right color. It's got a lovely crisp edge and a sort of soft crumb in the middle. I just wish it was calorie free because it is delicious. Have a go.